Yo, what's up, guys? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be about collimated solar simulators for curved photovoltaic panels. Basically, a simulating design or testing for solar PV modules, especially if you have a curved one, to see how they perform under certain illuminated conditions. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Researchers in Spain assemble an experiment solar simulator for vehicle integrated and curved solar panels. They found that the measurements of the short circuit current ISC of the cells followed by the ideal cosine response of the curvature with differences lower than 0.5%. To address the challenge of characterizing curved three-dimensional vehicle integrated photovoltaics VIPV, Scientists at the Polytechnic University of Madrid developed the design principles and set up requirements for a solar simulator. So the version was used for the characterization in the paper is not ready for commercialization, even if it is practically fully functioning and operational. In a test of a module with a radius of curvature 1 meter, the research team found that their solar simulator's measurements of the short circuit current of the cells follow the ideal cosine response of the curvature with differences lower than 0.5%. It also ascertained that a non-collimated light source typically used in conventional solar simulator for flat modules had a non-uniformity boost of between 2 and 20% depending on the module used. The intrinsic lack of uniformity under normal irradiance caused by the curved shape is boosted when it is illuminated with a non-collimated light source said by the researchers. The researchers then tested their solar simulator solution on one flat panel and three curved modules with radii of curvature 3 meters, 2 meters, and 1 meter respectively. The modules were then equipped with a 32 metal wrap-through cells with 8 strings of 4 cells. Each string was then measured independently and compared to the expected cosine response. They chose a Helios 3198 solar simulator originally developed to characterize concentrator photovoltaic CPV and adapted to it to the proposed design. The light pulse power supply and electronics were modified to accommodate the slower time response of conventional silicon cells. The setup included a black tunnel for stray light rejection, including the baffles and light trap box and chambers. The design of the tunnel is very critical to achieving an irradiance non-uniformity better than 1%, said the researchers. Light trapping chambers closer to the lamp and baffles distributed along the tunnel are needed to effectively suppress the stray light and ensure that only the light reflected by the collimating mirror the simulator is based on a multi-flash approach with a xenon flash lamp triggered while the module is biased on with a different voltage level for each flash pulse, recording different pairs of current voltage points during the pulse decay. The illumination system consists of a round collimator with a diameter of 2 meter and a focal distance of 6 meter and a small toroid flash lamp of 65 millimeter in diameter to derive a collimated beam with a divergence of 0.3 degrees, resemblance the direct normal irradiance at outdoor conditions. The design of the solar simulator setup and test results are presented in the paper, Collimated Solar Simulator for Curved PV Module Characterization published in solar energy materials and solar cells and that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and understood what's the new development that the researchers have tested using the solar simulators and the various curvature of the curved photovoltaics let me know what else you would like to see in the future videos take care stay safe until next time bye bye